Hey up. I'm not gonna bother with who I am and all that, you should know by now. Anyway, here we go. A few weeks ago, I explained to people how to be super accurate with your punches and how to practice it and drill it correctly on the bag so you could replicate that on the pads, drills, sparring, and obviously eventually the fight. And a few people have mentioned that uh, they're still missing stuff like that. They still can't get accurate and were wondering why, if I had any insights as to why they're struggling. Well, without seeing that person physically watching what they're doing, it's pretty difficult. But I can give you some background as to what happened with myself. Now, I'll be picking a target on the back to hit. And if I was southpaw, I would never miss with my left hand, or very rare. It would be super accurate all the time, on all punches. With my right hand, I was very accurate up close. And as I got further away, and the punches became less, less of shovels and hooks and close in, uh, crosses and it became long distance crosses or even a big overhand where you're turning off that's when no matter how much I practiced the accuracy started to go so for example and this is the actual example with myself if I'm aiming here my punch was more often than not landing about here. It was about two to two and a half inches below the target. And I noticed this, obviously this is many, many years ago, and I noticed it kept happening. No matter what, that's what I was aiming at. I kept hitting here, kept hitting here, kept hitting here. Especially when it was a punch where you're here and you're turning off. So you're only looking from one eye. And it was that one eye thing that made me realize what was happening. So I'm going to give you an analogy so you can work it out for yourself. Imagine that you're, you've got your rifle and you've got your sights and you, you set your sights on the bullseye. And every time you shoot, you're hitting below the bullseye. So you would normally adjust your sights, wouldn't you? So for me, what I did was knowing that if I'm aiming there, I keep hitting there. But if that's my target, I now aimed a couple of inches above it. So when I'm at distance, I aim a little bit above my actual target. And then my accuracy suddenly came back. With my left hand, if I'd done something that ended up south for, and I'm turning off, and I'm looking out from one eye, I was still accurate. And it was because, you know, one eye stronger than the other, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so all this resulted in this side being slightly inaccurate at distance, this side still remaining accurate. So I had to work out what was wrong and correct it. So my answer to people saying they're still struggling with accuracy is if it's a consistent error, the same as I had, then you can correct it very simply. Because if you're consistently hitting below the target like I was, you now change and then you'll hit the target. Simple as that, and if it's to the left, to the right, or above, or whatever, you can then change it like that, as long as it's a consistent error. If it's an error that's just all over the place and totally random, then that's a lot more difficult to figure out. I'd have to actually see what you're doing to figure that. But anyway, I hope that helps. Bit of a top tip for you. Let me know how you get on. If you like what I teach, and you like my style of teaching, why not hit the like, share, subscribe, and even make a comment if you want. I'll try and answer them. And if you want a load more lessons, dip on down to my site, sign up for free, and it opens up all the unlisted ones on the old YouTube. I'll see you down there.